What's cracking YouTube? My name is Brody and welcome back to another Pokemon trading card game opening and today we're back with this Roaring Skies Elite Training Box, uh, Elite Trainer Box, not Training Box, with a trainer. But yeah, anyway, so it's all sealed up obviously, um, but there's the contents, I'll give you guys just a clean look at that if you'd like to read what's inside, but I'm going to show you guys what's inside anyway, so that's all good. On the bottom it's just that. Side, side, bottom, top. Let's get cracking. <laughs> oh dear. So I, um, I just just recently on the channel I opened up the Ancient Origins Elite Trainer Box, and that was pretty sweet. They had like the design on the um, on the inside of the packaging here. We'll see if this is the same. If not, it's all good. But yeah. So when you first open it up. You got the guide, and then yes, we do indeed have the design on the inside here. So let's crack that open and assess the art. I love the glue. The glue that they used for this is like spot on. But yeah, so there's the art. So it's all your pack arts, all nice and nice and pretty. Looks pretty good in the back there. Let's do that. That looks pretty sweet even though it's sideways. <laughs> um, so we got some more packaging, throw that off to the side. Okay, so then we got the box itself, so that comes open. Boom. All the gifts are uh, not nice and neatly tucked away, kind of just thrown in there, but you know, you know. So yeah, so we got the code card for like the sleeves on TCGO. Then we have the energies, five of each energy. Keep that all sleeve all uh, packaged up as well. I'll just put that all off to the side. Then we have the boosters. You guys will get the codes out of those ones. Got the personalized dice to got the Roaring Skies kind of theme we got going on here. Let's knock this down a smidge. Yeah, so that's the dice. Then we got the awesome looking sleeves that comes in every Elite Trainer box. They always look really good. Definitely one of the main reasons some people would go out and buy these things for the the sleeves for their um for their decks. Then uh, there's another booster pack, kind of chilling, just chilling. Then we have the poison burn counters, all that sort of jazz for you competitive players. I tried, I try to be competitive, but um, doesn't really work out too well. But yeah, so we get the deck dividers as well. So. Yeah, they're all the same. That on that side, that on that side. So if you guys are, are new to Elite Trainer Boxes and you don't know what these are, what they are is... So that's empty now. Just get all the packaging out. They're for this this box here. You can use them for this box. So what you can do is you can place them inside of this box because this box is actually a storage, a storage box. So you get the top of the box slides on nice and neatly so you can place all your cards in there you can place the bo I can place the booster packs in there right now actually and then we'll just divide it and you just throw another booster pack and you just throw another divider in and it just splits them up nice and neatly yeah anyway that was a nice little example so I'll throw them off to the side too and we'll put them booster packs at the back and let's have this nice and neatly off to the side there. Yeah, that'll do. Alrighty. So I'm going to have a quick little fast forward section here to trim the tops off these booster packs. You guys will see it all on cam. So you know I'm not pulling anything funny. But fast forwarding will start now. Alrighty guys, and we're back. So, I just wanted to quickly go, I didn't really go through the player's guide. So for you guys that are new and you're checking this out, Shaman there is the one to go for. Shaman is the most playable card in this set at the moment. Oh, look at that. Watch Pokemon TV. Um, but yeah, so we're on the hunt for these guys up the back here. Let's 
screw that up. Yeah, so we're hunting down the Shaman for Light, the most desired card in the set, but personally, I want a... Let's see if I can get this up a little bit higher. A Rayquaza Full Art. That one up there for my set. But anyway, that's that. It's a nice handy little book that kind of shows you all the goods. But let's go. So we have pack number one. Now look at that. The codes are the right way around. Check that. Okay, so kicking off this Elite Trainer box. We have a Wurmple, a Talo, Electric, Bagon, Bidove, Ninjask, Skyfield, a Fero, Executor, that one's just an uncommon, and then we have a Dragonite Hollow. Check that. P possibly one of my favorite arts of the set. Personally, just look at it. It is just so powerful. And how the holo just makes, it makes the Dragonite pop off the card. It's just sweet. So that's a de decent way to start. So here is code number two. And pack number two of this Elite Trainer Box. Let's knock this down just a smidge further, if, if it'll let me. There we go. So we got Meowth. Cascoon, remove these scissors, we've got Halucha, Dratini, Natu, a Manetric, Trainer's Mail, Pelipper, uh, Gallade Spiraling, Spiraling, and a Zatu Regular Air. Not bad, not good, can't complain too much because we've already, already got one in the pocket. There we go, there's code number three, pack number three. Let's see what we can do. So we've got Spiro, Wingull, Binacle, Pikachu, Inke, Ninjask, Revive, Altaria, a Voltor Reverse, and a Togekiss regular air. Not bad. So so far we've got the, the one in three packs ratio with the Dragonite. Let's see if we can um get another another pull out of these next three packs. Whew. Code. One, two, three, one, two. Okay. So we got little stinker there. Cheeky stinker. Togepi. Execute. A Natu Fletchling. Tranquil. A Wally. Oh. Silcoon. A binocle reverse, not bad. Look at those feet. I love how that's it, that's his face, but it looks like feet anyway. And Articuno, another another awesome art from this set, from the Roaring Skies set. Awesome, awesome card. Actually, I might set that at the back just because I love I love that art too. Those two ancient trade arts chilling at the back look pretty sweet to me. We go, there's another code. Let's see if we can get some pulls. Oh, I think this card just fell out of there. Let's just slide that up randomly in there. So we got Ninkata, Swablu, Voltorb, Togepi, Shepard. I'm really hoping to get something pretty spiffy out of these, these elite trainer boxes. Oh, look at that. The reverse Articuno. That's pretty spiffy, just now that I've mentioned it. And an Unpheasant regular air. So let's throw you out the back with your regular art. But yeah, that's a nice, nice looking pile up the back there. There's a code, but we're still hunting for that glossy or textured glossy goodness. And I think, I think we have it. I'm not too sure, but I think we've got something pretty spiffy at the back. We got Taylor, Electrike, Bagon. Dove, Ultra Ball, Pelipper, a Switch, just a regular Switch, Trainer's Mail, I need you in Ancient Origins and Secret Rare. But anyway, we have a Rayquaza EX, so the Dragon, Dragon type Rayquaza EX. 
out of the Requazo Litrana box. How cliche. Another very cliche kind of opening we're going to, got going on here. But we've got two packs left. I'm going to save the Latios pack for last. And let's go into Deoxys. And I might just mention these packs were really like loosely, loosely packed. I don't know about you guys. But they were... When I was opening Roaring Skies, when I opened my case, it wasn't really that loosely packed. But these ones just, just were. I could just kind of, yeah, I don't know. Bit strange. But we've got a wide lens, a Natsu Reverse, and a Swellow. Shout out to Yellow Swellow. we got the Swellow. Not the cool Swellow on the set, not the Antitrade Hollow, but it is the Swellow. And the last code for this, uh, Elite Trainer Box. There you go. Let's see if we can get something nice. we got Ninkata, Swablu. A Voltorb, Togepi, Shuppet, Dragonair, Galade Spurling, we got Shellgon, a Switch Reverse, and a Klefki with Look for Keys and Play Rough. Don't we all just love looking for our keys? Either way, Switch the, the Reverse Switch is pretty sweet. Definitely a playable, playable card. But, recap for this lead trainer box, we got the reverse Articuno, plus the normal Articuno. I just love those arts, that's why they're, they're hanging at the back. But then we got the Hollow Dragonite, and the Dragon type Rayquaza EX. So not, not, not a bad elite trainer box at all. We did get these two as like your, I guess you could say, the goods, but then, then we got the reverse Articuno too, so that was pretty pretty sweet as well but either way if you guys enjoyed the opening make sure to hit that like button down below let me know in the comments what you've pulled from a Rolling Skies Elite Trainer Box because I know I've personally seen full arts just being thrown around left front and center and I open it up and I get this sucker which isn't bad but I know I know there's some good pulls so I want to hear from you guys what you've got but uh, be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to my channel or if you just enjoy my con content. And I'll see you guys in my next opening, which will be, will be, will be this Breakthrough Boost Box. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Peace.